Welcome to the Lens of Possibility Workshop. It's all about how you see your potential, your power, your voice. I'm your host, Kevin Carroll, excited to welcome our first special guest to this conversation about community. Hampton Boyer, welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome. So hey. thrilled to have you here. Please share with our viewers a little bit about yourself. I'm an artist and I'm also a co-founder of an art advisory, the Contemporary Arts Network. And we're stationed here in Newport News, Hampton Roads area of Virginia. I've been an artist for over 12 years going on now professionally. Um, I'm a brother, uh, I'm a friend, um, I'm a partner. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm many things in life, this life that we all share together. And so I would also add in there, you are a generous spirit. We've only you know, met each other briefly prior to this, but it's as if we've known each other for a while now. So I love the fact that I already feel a part of your community, which is our topic. And I already yeah. feel like you have this welcoming spirit. And yeah. where do you think that comes from, this idea of your, how you welcome people and how you build community? I think it's just a part of knowing that you're not alone in this world. And so anyone that you meet on a day in and day out basis are just versions of yourself, an open heart, um, gives to inspiration and curiosity of others and um, being able to just say we're only human at the end of the day. <laughs> is that a key piece that helps you build community is curiosity? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Being able to hear stories that are that are not of your own. I'm often humbled by people and their own experiences. And so I think that's just part of it too, you know, um, the curiosity of trying to see as much experience as you can that you then can measure how you're feeling and um, kind of put everything in its right place. Will you see that curiosity and community reflected in the work that you do? Um, I definitely do. I definitely do. I feel that, you know, even with working with new mediums, there's a bit of curiosity and trial and error with that, as well as it is with people. Sometimes it's like, you know, how do you communicate something or communicate an idea to someone? Um, and you have to try different things. Communication evolves kind of just like community does. And What are some of the practices or tools that you use to always make sure that your curiosity muscle is ready? So do you have some, <laughs> some rituals or habits that you use? Skateboarding, you know, skateboarding was oh. one of my early parts of life. That's what got me into artwork you know, just being out in nature, taking walks, really just taking whatever it is that's holding you down or kind of making you feel pinned down, you know, just kind of escaping from that, you know, puts me in, back into my kid self. I love that you have a ritual, like, let me just get away. Let yeah. me just get out, right? And <laughs> why do you think that helps you? And why does that serve a great purpose for you? I think it's just a part of, uh, responsible creative is mm -hmm. to um, is to stop what you're doing and there were so many times that I ran myself into a wall which then led myself into you know other unfortunate you know thought patterns just because I didn't give myself the time to stop and say hey you're only human you're doing the best you can it's not all about the finish line and I get a sense you've got lots of communities and they mm -hmm. all serve different purposes can you share like some of the different communities that you're a part of? I know you have your studio community. I know you have your family. What are some of those yeah. other communities that you connect with outside of art? Uh, you know, when I see someone, I see them, you know, um, until I can understand them. And so communities, I'm in Hampton Roads. You know, I, I lived, I moved to Seattle in 2010. And when I came back home, I realized I was coming back home to a whole body of people who knew me. I got my first bumps and bruises here. And so um, I also feel a responsibility to, to, to love that community, to grow that community. You feel a responsibility to the community that lifted you up and raised you. So that responsibility that you feel to your community that helped raise you, how do you think you can actually give back? What are some of the ideas that you have around that? You know, to, to give back, it's it's really fulfilling you know to give is is so much better at times than to receive you know that's why we built the contemporary arts network you know to 
to really problem solve some of the things that are happening in the arts community, um, to be able to, uh, you know, be a voice for those and represent and um, also be a place where it's exciting to create um, on different levels and you want to better the world that you're living in as best as you can. Um, and so, yeah. I love that attitude. And what kind of advice would you have for someone, a 13 year old? I would say, you know, just have fun. I think that's the ultimate thing. Give yourself to your passion, you know, give yourself to that thing that is, that you feel like is saving your life and is making your life that much more full and, um, and stay dedicated to it. And that thing will be your, your light, you know, in times of sunshine, clear skies, and also in times of dark times. And you still will have that light that can keep you warm, that can keep you safe. You know, keep that in mind too, is that every day you have a chance to create something. You have a chance to leave a mark. You have a chance to do something exciting. For a 13 year old also to think about the community that's surrounding them. I look at you and I look at your studio community. I look at your Hampton Roads community. I look at the communities you have in other places that you've lived or frequented. You've built community so that you go wherever you go, you never are alone. My mom used to say, uh, uh, let me take a look at your friends and I'll tell you about you. Community is so vast. One community is part of another community is part of another community. You can draw Venn, Venn diagrams mm -hmm. of everyone that's out of these four walls. And so, you know, when you're 13 and you're trying to figure out where you're going, I think it's best to just keep those around that make you feel good and know that they do good in the world and they mean well by you. I always want to ask a question of our guest is, do you have something there in your studio that represents community to you that you've worked on a piece of art, an object, an item that when you see it, you instantly think of community? Yeah. Um, so this painting uh, beside me, both of these two paintings beside me represent community. Um, the one on the left is, a, um, is an abstract self-portrait of myself. Um, so I'm a Sagittarius. And um, I painted all these like scorpions around me, um, which is, you know, relates to the Scorpios that I have in my life. To my right is a depiction of um, artifacts from African culture. Mm -hmm. um, and I came in contact with these different artifacts through um, a various group of people. I kind of just took those different artifacts that I came in contact through the community and boiled them down into one painting. You know, these people offered me the opportunity to come into their house and share their stories. And we often are depicting culture. And so the community is our audience and it is our people who um, can relate to that culture that we're referencing. I boiled down those those two examples there as feeling loved, right? And feeling grateful. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, that's what we're going to ask our viewers, our, our young people that are watching this to find yours. So Man, I love that. Hampton, that's I, awesome. so ap <laughs> yeah, I appreciate, I so appreciate you and this conversation. Yeah. And if there was one thing you would want to leave our young folks that are viewing this, what would be that last little nugget you'd like to leave them with? Keep going. Life is real, um, but you can bring something real to it. And we're here, you know, we're here for each other. Um, you're not alone. And so be strong. <laughs> Come on now, that sums it up. Yeah, yeah, we're here. We're not alone. Be strong. I think that sums it up beautifully. I'll hit them with listen, learn, and find yours. Yeah, that's it. Well, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate <laughs> hey, you. I appreciate you. Be well, you. keep going, and peace be with you. Peace to you, Kevin. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Y'all have a great day. <laughs> what just happened? Was that not phenomenal, inspiring, elevating? You should be ready to take on the world. Hampton was dropping so much knowledge.
one of the things I want all of you to think about is, I hope you were listening. I hope you learned something. But now the call to action, find yours. Hampton talked about never feeling like you're alone. Always making sure that you have people that are close to you, but you can learn from everyone. So see the people in your life, see your community, get out into your community, take a pause from time to time when you're working on your journey just to breathe, have some fun. That's important. Be where your feet are, be present and be open to learning lots of new things. So my call to action, our call to action is listen, learn and find yours. Go to the workbook that you have available. There's a whole series of questions to help you identify community and continue your journey. Be well, Godspeed, peace and play, game on. Lens of possibilities, possibilities are limitless. <laughs>